Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are not new. My name is Jenny. Today we have a what's in my bag video and today it's going to be featuring my Monstery MM backpack. I wanted to do a what's in my bag on this just because this bag carries so much. I didn't think it would carry a lot and I did get quite a few watermarks on it when I went to uh, Kauai just because Kauai. <laughs> um, just because it was like raining and then it would be sunny and it would be rainy and I really didn't care because this bag was already used so I thought that you know, I would just go ahead and take it and I wanted to wear like a designer bag. So yeah, I ended up bringing this one. Um, I was not going to bring my Neverfull just because my Neverfull still has like brand new Vachetta on it. So I don't want to get any more watermarks on that. But this one was perfect because I could just throw it on my back and I pretty much wore it the whole time I was there. So yeah, it is pretty heavy. I would say that you shouldn't overstuff this just because it does get very, very heavy even though the Vachetta straps are very comfortable. I have had some instances where I would try to pull it up from here, but this really, really hurts um, when it's really heavy because I mean, it's metal. You're trying to hold a metal bar. So yeah, I would recommend not to overstuff it, but I'll show you guys what I have in mind. And I wanted to do it a little bit more casual. Um, I'm actually, I just got ready for this video because my boyfriend went out to dinner with his friends and um, I was just home. So <laughs> yeah, I wanted to film this. So let me just show you guys what I have. And I have the No Way Knot on my bag because I do want it to be a little easier to open, which it has been. And I really like it. I like it a lot better than like tying it all the time. So, yeah, so let me just go ahead and show you guys what is in my bag. I'm going to try to stop touching my hair. I just showered. So it's still a little wet. A lot of people also ask why isn't my bed made like all the time every time I do a video. Well, the housekeeper came today. So um, the bed is nicely made. All the pillows are fresh and fluffed. So very happy about that. So let me show you guys what I have. I have this satin um, satin hair tie. These are by the brand Slip. And I really like them because they don't make any creases in your hair no matter how many times you like scrunch it up and everything. It's like the perfect hair tie for anybody. And I really like it. I have the larger ones. I have it in black, beige, and pink. So I like that. The next thing I have are wet ones. It is not a what's in my bag video by me if I do not have wet ones. I use these all the time. I go through so many packets of these and I feel bad because you know, like I want to help the environment and everything, but I also want all of my stuff to be sanitized and like, I don't want germs everywhere, okay? I don't want to touch any germs, so I always have to have these. And then this is my favorite lip gloss right now. This is the Buxom Hot Toddy. It's what I have on my lips right now, and it is just like the perfect, like, oh, it's so delicious. It's like the perfect gloss. I love this one for when I have a lip liner that's a little bit too nude or like a lip color that's too nude. I use this to kind of mute it a little bit, and it just like blends in to a gloss and it just looks like so perfect because this is a little bit darker so yeah perfect glossy color then i have my charlotte tilbury powder this is what it looks like i don't find that it really does a lot for me but i love the mirror on it because it's so pretty um yeah i love this and i like how it's so thin and compact really nice then i have this eco tools beauty sponge and this one is good if you just want to like dip it in the powder and just kind of like touch up a little bit or blend something out on your face it's good for like on the go and it comes in its own little case i did a campaign with eco tools i want to say like middle of last year or like towards the end of last year i honestly don't remember but i did a few campaigns with them and this was one of them and it was like a really good product i really liked it then i have bath and body works hand sanitizer and I don't have an organizer for this bag. I'm kind of just pulling it out, honestly. So I know that sometimes you guys like seeing the bag inside, but I thought I would just go ahead and show you guys like me just pulling the stuff out because it's just like in there. Like I'm just pulling stuff out of the bag. I don't really have an organizer. I know that in my speedy videos, someone liked it better when I showed the bag, but I mean, I'm okay with, you know, this frame as well. Like when I watch what's in my bag videos, I want to see the bag. So yeah i don't know it's just my thing then i have my tripod that my camera's usually on but i'm filming with it right now this is the manfrotto tripod i love this it's such a handy little guy and then i have my external charger i love this one as well really really good i have a notebook that says boss lady and, and then i have my wallet i have the victorine wallet and this one is in the monogram print and i love it so much i have I only have $8 in my wallet this time. I think last time I had like $300 or something like that. But yeah, I um, put all my money in the bank. I put most of my cash in the bank today, so that's why I don't have a lot. But yeah, I have to go get cash out because um, I always have to have cash on me. So this is the... Um, I don't even know why I put all my money in the bank when I needed it. So the next item that I have in my bag is my Guerlain powder. And it comes in this little black velvet uh, casing. 
And then mine is in the shade uh, 4 medium. Really, really good powder. I really like it. And I like it especially for the under eyes. Um, I think it works really well, so love that. And then I have a Starbucks gift card. I have like a dollar on it. My boyfriend and I went to go get Starbucks today, so yeah. Then I have my hand cream. This is my Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Solve. And I really like this hand cream because it's like really, really good for dry skin. This is my Boba Shaw and Luna loves playing with Shaw, so. <laughs> then I have my mini pochette. So I haven't been able to switch out of this pochette to my other one. So I decided that I'm just going to sell the other one just because I love my cats so much. I did have a cat named Lucy before I had Luna and Lucy actually ran away. So I'm like really sad about that. And this was like maybe a year ago or mm, like almost two years ago, I think. But yeah, I really, really miss her every single day. She was like my first baby and um, they are Bengals. Well, Lucy was the Savannah. So, oh, are you okay? Louie, she's fine. So yeah, I love my cat so much. And every time I see this, it just reminds me of my kittens. So I just like feel like such like a, you know, a proud mom. And um, I love being reminded of her every single day. So yeah, this was like a big cat tribute to my kitty. And yeah, it's such a good, it's such a really, really nice item. I have like tampons in here, a Glossier Balm.com, a lip gloss, lip liner, Glossier Cloud Paint, eye drops, and a Chloe perfume, and then like two hair ties. So yeah, I have quite a few things in here. And I really love like the pop of red. I just think it's really nice. And I don't know, I just like haven't really gone around to um, like, I don't know, selling my items because I do want to sell my mini pochette and my Alma BB, but I just feel like in the summer, I might like my Alma BB a little bit more, but I do, I want the Alma BB in monogram. Like I'm so, I'm so annoying, but yeah, I really just like need to part with them like from my heart first. But yeah, I love my mini pochette. It's so beautiful and I use it every single day. Then I have this. This is usually not in here. I don't carry this every single day. I don't know why this is in here. That's weird. This is kind of big. I'll show you in comparison to my mini pochette. So yeah, I'll do a comparison video for you guys so you guys can see what fits in what. This has a pen, toothpicks, um, a tampon, some puff drops. I don't know if I should mix those together. Um, oh my God, I never use this. Wow, 20% 20 20 off a full size item from Victoria's Secret. Oh my god, I still have the key to this. Oh no, this is from my Victorine. Um, I have a Laneige sleeping mask in here, some cold medicine, and some more hand cream. This is usually not in here. I think this is from my Neverfull, and I always keep this in my Neverfull. I never really bring this with me anywhere else. I used to carry it in my Speedy, but it just got like too, I don't know, it was just like too much stuff that I was carrying, and I realized half the stuff that I had in my bag I didn't even need, but I still love the Speedy for the silhouette and everything, and I still need to carry that bag for, you know, to carry my vlogging camera, so I still love my Speedy. It's like... Oh my god, that's like my forever baby. So yeah, I have this in here. It's usually not in here though. I just wanted to let you guys know that. And then I have my Sunny's Barton Piera. I love this. So pretty. It's like the perfect Sunny's for me. And um, these Sunny's are pretty expensive. I always mention them in my videos just because everyone always asks about them. Uh, they are about like $500 and I don't believe in buying designer sunglasses. I don't think you have to buy a designer. I know Key has really good sunglasses, really nice, um, really nice like designs and stuff. But where we go in the Palisades to purchase our sunglasses, um, my boyfriend is really good friends with the guy. We don't get a discount or anything. It's just kind of like a neighborhood mutual bond type of deal. I don't know if you guys have that as well. Um, just like local businesses, you know, supporting them and not going to Nordstrom and like buying stuff when you can just support local businesses that are around you. So yeah, we always go there and um, anytime something happens to my sunnies, I just take them there and then they're able to fix it and stuff. So yeah, I love these. The case is kind of cheap though. Um, I have my key clay. I want to get a key ring so bad. I don't even know if I'm going to go to London, like honestly. I keep saying, I keep talking about it but because like I just like don't know like I don't know if I'm gonna go like I kind of don't want to go anymore <laughs> if, if I go like I want to go on my own merit you know I don't want to go just because someone is um, like a brand is flying me out there and stuff I don't want to go because like someone else is paying for it like I want to go like on my own merit I want to do my own thing and I just like you know I just want to chill and relax and like do my own thing so I feel like I kind of like don't want to go right now because I don't have the money to spend on 
luxury goods there because I do want to take advantage of like you know being in a different country and not having to pay tax and having the, the items be like a lot less so yeah and I also wanted to I don't know I just like want to get a few things so I figured like if I just wait that's fine it kind of sucks because like Hawaii has really really good prices like they're never full I think it's like $12.90 and then you only pay 4% tax so like what the fuck and if you don't live there then like it's still cheap so yeah I really want to look into like getting I don't know like I think Hawaii is also a good place to get luxury goods as well but who knows what the best deal is so I only have a few more things in here not a lot I have another hand sanitizer this is the uh, eucalyptus and spearmint maybe I should do like talking about like budgeting stuff in another video because I feel like this is like too much this video is too long so I have um, some stickies just for like my notebook I have a battery for my camera because my camera dies not I wouldn't say it dies quickly but I do vlog a lot like yeah I do like vlogging and like taking photos so it does die pretty quickly I have this ring to hold my purse and then I oh my god how cute is this this is like my travel like Laneige sleeping mask from now on this is a tiny can you guys see that teeny tiny version like look at it in my hand so yeah my boyfriend literally dug his finger in there like who do you think you are but yeah it comes with a pretty good amount of product um i think the packaging is like kind of wasteful though but i do love this little container so i can like travel with it yeah i love this so much it's like so cute i don't know why i'm fingering it and then so yeah that's everything in my bag i usually um oh my god girl I'm just gonna put my mini pochette in here. I'm just gonna put like what I actually carry in here because I think I just like overstuffed it. I don't know why the hell I did that. But um, Sunny's always hand sanitizer must, hand cream a must, tripod must, gloss yes. Oh wait, I'll put this in my wallet. I I only have like a dollar in here, but every dollar counts. So I'm just stick it in here. Charger. And this bag doesn't get heavy with like everything that I carry in it just because I feel like when you're carrying it on your back um, a lot of the stress is like not I don't know like you don't really feel it on your shoulders I feel like so I really like that I carry this every day so maybe a powder my keys this so realistically I wouldn't carry like two powders with me or this whole thing um, I would do carry an extra battery and then just like an extra hand sanitizer and stuff. I don't really carry that in here, but everything else I do and I mean everything fits really well and it is pretty heavy. Um, I don't like carrying it on this hook just because like I said it is pretty heavy but um, yeah when you're carrying it as a backpack you really don't even feel the weight and I do want to be careful because I don't want it to like ruin the canvas because I do want to get the vachetta replaced okay so I started to do like the budgeting and like showing you guys in the notebook and stuff but my writing my handwriting is like so fucking jank and um I don't know I just felt like I wasn't going to be able to explain it properly unless I do like a dedicated video so if you guys want to see that then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and just like you know commenting um you know anything about budgeting um what things you guys are struggling in whether it's savings whether you know whatever it may be just let me know um yeah i would be more than happy to help you guys out with that just because i know that i struggled for the longest time with budgeting and everything and it was really really hard for me to save so i highly recommend that you guys get into it get to saving and if you guys want me to kind of show you how to do it or how I did it, then let me know. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe down below if you aren't already and join my YouTube family. I would very much appreciate it. I love seeing you guys come back and comment and, you know, interact with me. I think it's so much fun. So I would love if you guys join the family and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!